Hello everyone, this is Funny Animator Jim TV, and I thought I'd just give a uh, a demonstration game. So we're just playing the Sicilian Defense, and he goes for that. Uh, I, sh I probably should play d6 there, but I'll just keep up with development for now. Uh, if he plays knight g5, then I'll just play e6. Yeah, just e6. Yeah, just blunting the diagonal from that bishop. Then I could play knight takes. Oh, no, I can't. Because that pawn. Um, yeah, let's just kick the knight. Just kick the knight back, although he is way uh, ahead in development than I am. So I can get a pawn here and also gain a nice open file with my rook and get an angle with my queen. So I, I believe I am the better of this. And I'm also ahead of pawn, by the way. Uh, knight c6. So I'm probably not going to be castling queen's side at this point. Uh, yeah, he does have that weak pawn there, so I do have to be careful what happens there. Yeah, I'm just going to stop him from putting a piece on b5, as typical in the Sicilian. And I'm going to thrust b5 and put my bishop on b7. Oh, wow. Interesting. He takes. So he is sacrificed uh, a pawn. So I'm probably going to put some rooks on these files if I can. Oh, wow. He takes. So now I have a bishop on this powerful diagonal. So you can see here I have that bishop there. Uh, let's just... Maybe I should just keep the bishop or something. I'm just gonna play king here and then bishop. My king doesn't need to castle at this point. So he is going to want to regain that pawn. I'm gonna go after him. I'm gonna go after his uh, queen. And he brings his knight down or his queen up. Rather. Uh, how can I attack the queen if I can? Oh, he is threatening to come down here with his pawn. Or with with his bishop. So I'll just bring my, my uh, bishop up and protect the pawn one more time. And then I can swing my other rook over to the A file. Because it's not really doing anything. Yeah, and I've got huge power on the A file, so he pretty much has to play A3 at this point. Or A H file, rather. This is the H file. I have tremendous pressure on this H file. Yeah, so he plays H3, and then I can play this. Yeah, the pawn's defended by the rook. So I am threatening a checkmate up here. If he were to take right now, so I take, uh, he still cannot play this bishop right to here because I've still got way too much power at this point. So he's down two pieces, and I have, I, I pretty much have a winning position at this point. I have bishops and I have a tremendous h file. So that, uh, So I can bring my rook over here. My bishop has this entire file covered. That's checkmate right there. Because of my tremendous bishop and this rook on this file, uh, he weakened his king's side by playing g3. And that pawn puts him in checkmate. So let's... Uh oh, he offered a rematch. Well, anyway. Let's just pick a rent. Let's just pick some something here. 5 plus 10. Okay, queen's pawn opening. We're gonna go queen's pawn opening. Queen's pawn opening. Queen's gambit. Martial defense. Not the best way to uh, 
defend against the Queen's Gambit because white can gain a strong center. And there's actually some traps that white can fall into. Yeah, let's just play this here. Threaten in the knight, and then we can play bishop e2. Although the pawn is undefended, so then we would play knight to uh, e4. He plays knight g6. Okay, so he's not directly attacking this pawn here, so I can play bishop e2 at this point. His queen is coming down here, but I, at the moment I have my queen defending. So uh, that frees up my queen from defense of the knight. So if he takes, I'll just take with the bishop, my, and I won't lose a pawn. And I'm ready to castle at this point right now. Uh, but I do have to worry about this center, uh, just defending it. I have to defend the center. I'd prefer if he moves his bishop back. Well, actually, moving his bishop back uh, back this way, I mean, moving his bishop back would lose his bishop. So he either has to take or move back if he moves back. Uh, I am just going to uh, probably, I mean, his knight can't do anything from there. I'll just I'll just continue with my development. I'll I'll save whether to castle or what to do with my king for now. Um So I'm I'm not sure how he's planning to get this bishop into the game. If he plays e six or no no g six would be horrible. Uh G six would uh, okay, I don't know why he plays that. Oh, I guess just to prevent my knight from coming over or something. Uh, but I don't I don't like that move. So I am going to guard the g3 square and also threaten his bishop. Or g6 square rather. So if he takes here and he plays some random move, I can just go check and win a rook. So right now my immediately my immediate threat is check. Here, he'll have to move there, and then I take his pawn, winning a rook. Check. If he moves down, then I just play knight takes. Uh, check, fork, in the rook. And if he takes, then I take his rook. So, I've won a rook at this point. Uh... Although he could take my pawn threatening my knight, but I don't see anything to do from there. I mean, his rook does kind of have an escape square. I'm also threatening to take his rook at this point, and if his rook moves, then I have a discovered check. I have a discovered check to the queen, so I could take this pawn or something, and I'm two pawns up, which is really nice. Uh, I can't really move there because then the king takes. So I could just, I'll just gain a pawn here. I'll just gain a pawn with check. I'm also right now threatening to go check here. So I can do that at the moment. And I believe after he comes here, this is checkmate. I believe that's checkmate. After all, that is his only move. Checkmate. Boom. Look at those knights. And his pawns. And the queen coming up into here. That was a very nice checkmate. So that's all I have for today. Now let's check some analysis right here. Uh, D4. Yeah, this was just a normal queen's gambit. That was uh, not a very good move there because it allows white to just build up a center after e4 the knight has to force away and then the bishop comes to here after h3 we go knight f knight c3 uh, let me see if I can get the best move arrow no it still doesn't want to f6 yeah this was not a very good move because then the, that opens up the diagonal for the king here it opens up this diagonal right to the king. So, knight h4, he takes, takes, and 
that was a blunder right there. Well, actually, it doesn't really think it's a blunder, but uh, anyway, I go check. Check after he moves. Well, yeah, that was a mistake, apparently. Check, and that was a blunder. Made into. So, yeah, that was it. Uh, and then we'll go back and check out uh, some of the other Let's check out this game here. Let's see what the analysis says about this. E4, C5. Yeah, this was just a normal Sicilian defense. After Bishop C4, usually you want to play E6 to remove the pressure on the F7 pawn. Uh, but I just developed. And after the knight came down, I played E6, blocking off the bishop from taking F7. He castled, and I kicked the knight away. He instead decided to threaten my knight. Uh, but I win a pawn here after I take his pawn. Uh, he decided to develop. I developed. He brought his bishop out. He was planning on bringing his bishop out after d3 for enemy from using b4. And I went b5 trying to get. And he took the b5 pawn. Uh, I'm not sure why. Well, that was just a weird thing he did. So, anyway, I take the pin off. And then he takes my knight, and that probably wasn't a very good move, because I gain this wonderful diagonal with my bishop, and a bishop is generally stronger than a knight, and I have both bishops, and he only has one. So, that was pretty good. Uh, king, d7. I decided to uh, just let my king sit in the center. I have a good file with my rook, and I have a good file with my rook here on the queen side, so there wasn't any reason to castle. So then he brought his queen out, and I challenged his queen. He probably could have just taken my pawn here after I take. He takes. He has a bush. He has a nice bishop, and my rook is uh, not very well placed over there. Although it is on the open file, he brought his queen up instead. Brought my bishop up to protect the pawn. He has two attackers. I have two defenders. He brought his pawn up. I decided to completely dominate this H file over here, and he pushed the pawn to defend it. And I pushed my pawn to break open this side. He took that pawn, and I took this pawn. After he took, after he moved to here, that was just uh, that was just pointless because he lost another bishop. I had two defenders, and he only had one uh, a attacker. So brought the bishop over here, brought my rook over. And he took this pawn, but if you notice, I have this wonderful diagonal here cutting off all these squares. I have this rook supporting this pawn as it moves forward, so I can just move that pawn up. Checkmate. The bishop cutting off everything else, and the pawn is protected, and the rook and the king cannot escape out because this rook is blocking. So those are some games that I uh, played here. I hope they were instructive to you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.